Hello everyone, and today we're gonna look at Instagram. All right, you've probably heard of Instagram as well, so let's get started. First, to get into the mood, let's look at Instagram. This is an amazing little tweet here, or sorry, it's not a tweet, it's an Instagram post. I got confused, did the Twitter one yesterday. Let's check this one out. That is so dope. It's a finch on a skateboard. How awesome is that? And finally, there's another one that I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, link below, uh, you'll see that I actually love photographing um, acrobats. And so this is a pretty, really dope acro yoga photo that's on the Instagram main account. So, uh, yeah. Cool. So we're talking about Instagram today. And uh, if you haven't seen my previous video, that is on Twitter. That's in the link below as well. Um, this is like, I don't know, I wrote in my notes here. It's like a thousand times better. All right. So we're going to go through this flow. But first, let's check out the entire Instagram page. Uh, let's see what it's all about. And uh, we'll go from there before we go into the sign up flow. So, um, Instagram, as you know, is owned by Facebook. So there's a login by Facebook here, but it follows kind of the same look and feel that you would expect from a Google or a Twitter, which is the call to action on this homepage is insanely simple. Um, it even has a massive promotion for just installing this on your mobile device immediately, right? So don't even bother with this, get the app, install it there and go forth. Um, and also kind of keeping it in line with the Twitter uh, example that we showed yesterday, all the links are here at the bottom. But the best part about Instagram is that they kept it insanely simple. Like for example, if you click about us, you know, you hear about the head of Instagram, Adam, and then the two founders, you know, Kevin and Mike, and you just click through and it's actually just very, it's very simple, right? Very clean, very simple. Um, and then, you know, you can go into, you know, the support API for all the developers out there, uh, jobs, privacy terms. And I was debating whether to show this or not, but this is actually really cool. So if you go through either directory profiles or hashtags, um, these are... <laughs> this is the funniest thing. These are sitemaps so that Google and Bing and other search engines can actually crawl Instagram and see all the different posts that folks are making. So say, for example, let's go to the United States and uh, just go to LA, Los Angeles, California. You basically see all the posts in LA right here. Right. So this is all based on location. Uh, if you go back and let's explore, let's go down here to profiles. There's actually numbered lists. So you can go like 65, four, I have no idea. And here's all the usernames for this random page that they generated. So you can actually go and click on one of, I don't know, right? I dream shop or whatever. And you can see this looks like a fake account. Uh, you can actually see all the profiles that exist on Instagram. And same thing with hashtags. So if you click on hashtags, and let's just go to four. I don't know, pick a random number here. Uh, you have to pick another one. So let's go five. These are all the keywords. Um, like Kyoto, right? You can then look and see all of the Kyoto with the Tori gate. Uh, hashtags and pretty much go through all of these, all these photos here. So it's pretty cool. Um, the other cool thing is if you noticed on our previous page, um, let's say the, our little finch on a skateboard, um, each one, each page has its own unique URL, so you can link to it. But then at the bottom, there's this very clean CTA, which is, um, or call to action for those who aren't you know, 
in these terms here, I'm speaking with a lot of jargon without kind of uh, explaining it sometimes, uh, you can log in or you can actually sign up uh, from these pages. So it's pretty much like, hey, you don't have an account. Somehow you wandered here on the web. Why don't you go and create an account? So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go back. Let's sign up. And this form is the, the exact same form that appeared on their homepage. So let's uh, go back to that too. Let's see if we can actually just go there straight up. There we go. It's the same exact form as right here. Cool. So let's sign up. Mobile number or email. It's funny. I went through this one time already and I used a test account there. So that's why you're going to start seeing all of those testing things. Username. Um, let's just do a very simple username. Let's see if that's available. It is cool. And then I generate a password in my password. So it's kind of cool. If you type in password one, two, three, you have kind of the show hide functionality that they, that they wanted here instead of doing the confirm password, which is still my preferred way, but totally get it. All right, and let's click sign up. Cool. And immediately you're in, right? So there's suggestions for you. So let's follow. Obviously, we're going to follow Instagram. Probably scroll down. Oh, love Beyonce. So let's follow her. Keep going. Uh, I love Ariana Grande's music, so let's uh, follow her. And T Swift. All right. Cool. So they pretty much put a lot of celebrities. A lot of these folks have the little uh, verified icon there next to their names. So it's kind of pretty dope that you can see. And let's click Get Started. The first thing you notice here is getting started is right front and center with kind of the next steps to finish off the get started flow. Then you can see different stories that appear here. This is their new product. There's also even more suggestions on the side with the see all. So this is like a continuation of the list that we saw before. Um, and then there's your name, right? Username that I picked earlier and well, my name that I typed in right there. So uh, you can connect to Facebook. That's an option. So let's click on it. And it does it as expected. It asks you to log into Facebook. We're not going to do that. So let's go back out. You can add a phone number. The really cool thing that they did here is they actually described to you in this uh, gray text underneath the headline exactly what the value proposition is or why you should create a or why you should uh, add your phone number to this. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Cool. And add a profile photo. Cool. So let's just click add a phone number. We already went through the kind of situation that we had before with uh, Twitter, but this is kind of what, what, what it, sorry, let's try that again. This is what it looks like. We're not going to do that. Let's go back. And let's add that profile photo here. Headshots, my black and white one. Bam. And I guess it assumes that if you made it to the add a profile photo, um, we're pretty much good to go. And it actually hides all of the other ones. So it's pretty much, if you do the last step, it assumes that you're okay with the previous steps. And here we are, we're in. There's T Swift, there's Ariana. That looks like a yummy sandwich. That's it. So you go up here and you can edit your profile, right? You can actually give your website. We got our email here. We got a bio. bio.
Sweet. And I am mail. Similar account suggestions. And let's submit. Cool. Profile saved. That's kind of how they're showing their status messages. So that's pretty sweet. The previous account that I created, um, I did something that was uh, kind of interesting. I temporarily disabled my account. And what you can do is actually disable your account. And then what happens is you can reactivate it if you wanted to. Um, so all the photos, comments, and likes will be hidden until you reactivate your account. So it's kind of what I did with my test account that I created uh, right before filming, just so that, you know, I don't need to have that account sitting around. I don't want them to keep emailing me and, you know, confusing me with regards to like what's going on. And so therefore, yeah, I just disabled it. But it's really cool that they have this temporarily disable account uh, messaging here. Um, you have changed password. Just look at how simple this site is. It's amazing. Authorized applications, email and SMS, manage your contacts, privacy and security. Let's make this a private account and then nobody else can like look inside there. So let's just do that real fast. Account data, two-factor auth, data download, privacy and security help. The one thing that I would have probably liked is uh, kind of a confirmation. Oh, it's down here. Okay, so that's kind of like the weird part of it, the whole situation is that confirmation is not as, how do I say it? It's not as obvious, uh, but it works, right? So if you do this, settings saved, there we go. It's just really weird for the checkbox to autosave. It's uh, one of those weird UX integration things. I apparently got two other folks that uh, started stalking me and following me already. That's that's interesting. Um, then there's the discover panel, so you can actually like discover new folks to follow and just new posts that are happening online. So what a great experience, right? It's so simple, so clean. Um, you don't have to overthink it. Um, these two getting started things now reappear. So that's kind of a nice subtle jab at like, hey, why don't you just add this in? And one more thing that I forgot to check is the email flow. So let's do that real fast. Oh, I may have already logged out of my UX. Let me grab my password from my password manager here. Sorry about that. Never. Cool. Check that out. So this is something that Twitter didn't do, but look at this. It's from Instagram. So that's in the from field because I know I just signed up for Instagram. It says, welcome, confirm your email. Welcome to Instagram, UXDDN. First, please confirm your, okay, excellent. And check this email out, right? Welcome to Instagram, please confirm your email. If, you've, if you're ever locked out of your account, this will help us let you get back in. What great copy, right? This is why you should confirm your email. Click on this link. We'll do that in a bit. But check this out. But they also add a few other pieces of information and a few graphics just to make it look really interesting. Choose what you see. Following someone means you'll see the photos and videos they post. The more accounts you follow, the more great stuff you'll see in your feed. Follow your friends or people who share your interests. So find people to follow. Express yourself. Excuse me. Express yourself. Share your perspective by capturing and sharing photos and videos from your day, whether it's your morning routine or the trip of a lifetime. Instagram's free filters and tools makes it easy, excuse me, make it easy to express yourself in new ways. Open Instagram. So it's probably made for a mobile device, so you can actually just click it and then it, the app pops up. Explore your interests. So this is the explore part. Clicking any of the links above will confirm UX design at David at Nguyen on Instagram. That is super cool, right? So not only will you click on a link and an action will happen, but it will also come from your email. So yeah, let's click the explore. 
Let's see what happens. Hope there's a message that says that. It's confirmed. Ah, interesting. Oh, there it is. You have successfully confirmed your email. That's really cool. Except it should have taken me to this tab. So that might be a little, a little bit broken there. Awesome. That's it. Super simple, exactly the way it should be. And then you pretty much click on, you know, you click on a post, you can interact with it. You can see all the comments. What a great, great way of, you know, using and learning about the app, right? Just get dropped right in there. And then you just start looking around, start poking around, start finding people to follow, seeing how other people have engaged with this content. Uh, this is exactly the way it should be. So Twitter, you should definitely take some notes. Simplify your shit, man. Like this is, this is absolutely out of control. All right, that's it. There's going to be more information in the notes and a few other thoughts that I have. But other than that, thanks so much, guys. Peace out.